This is lesson 26 homework, module 7, grade 2. Write your name there. Don't copy that one unless it's your name. Use the data in the table provided. That's this one right here. To create a line plot and answer the questions. Plot only the lengths of the shoelaces given. That's 27, 36, 38, 40, and 45. Now it says here that the table below describes the lengths of student shoelaces in Ms. Henry's class, and that can be the title for our graph. It can be the title for our graph right here. Uh, student shoelaces in Ms. Henry's class. And this is measured in inches. Let me give myself some room to write some numbers up there. I want to write this right down here at the bottom. Lengths. Inches. All right, and now we have 27. Thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, and forty-five. And we're plotting only the lengths of the shoelaces given. So we're not plotting the numbers in between these, just these four, uh, just these five different uh, measurements. So 27, there are six of those. One, and let's get these marks down a little bit. Just so they don't look like, they don't take the places of X's. Because I want an X right here. Six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. 36 has 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 38 has nine, so it's going to be almost as tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 40 has only three. One, two, three. And 45 has two. One, two. How many shoelaces were measured? I could just look at, maybe I can find some easy numbers to add in here, if, I, if it's easy to add. Let's see. Nothing looks that great. I could just count all the X's. can always do that. But let's see. I have uh, 19 here. So that's 19. And this 3 and this 2 make 5. And a 6. Oh, well, there's an 11. 11 and 9 is 20. And there's another 10. So this is going to add up to 30. 30 shoelaces. How many more shoelaces are 27 or 36 inches than 40 or 45? So we have to figure how many are 27 or 36 and how many more are 40 or 45. And we got to figure out how many more. What's the difference between these two categories? So 27 and 36, that's 6 and 10, which equals 16. I'm just going to write that right there. And 40 or 45, that's 3 and 2, which is 5. 
And maybe you can do that all in your head and remember it all at once. But I like to write it down so I can just look at it and I don't have to worry about forgetting it in the middle of this. Now I'm looking at the 16 and the 5 and there's 11 more in this, uh, these two links. Or this is 11 more than, than that. So uh, 11. Draw a conclusion as to why zero students had a 54-inch shoelace. Well, it looks like most of the shoes are right in this length. I mean, 40 and 45, are, it looks like those aren't very popular. So why? Um, I'm thinking in 54 is a lot bigger than... 45 so there's already there are they aren't that long by the time you get to 45 there aren't many shoelaces that are that long so if by the time I got to 54 that's nine more inches they're probably just too long so I'm just gonna guess that 54 inch shoelaces are too long Uh, for these data, a line plot or a table is easier to read because, so for this, I mean, we used, we looked at, sometimes we looked at the numbers, if they were easy to add for what we had to do, but to make comparisons between the data, um, I think it, the line plot is easier to read because you can see, when we had to answer this question, we could just look and see how it's getting shorter already by the time you get to 45. And imagine that 54 would be over here somewhere. There can't be anybody, there's nobody with 54. So that it might, this kind of tells you why by looking at it. You can see that, you can really see the numbers go down. So I'm thinking the line plot is easier to read uh, because, uh, because you can just look at it. You can just look at it and see which numbers have more because they're all right next to each other. You can see which uh, on these are lengths. Now, maybe for you, you like the table better. You could say, as long as you have a good reason for it. If you like seeing, I mean, these numbers being next to each other, that doesn't, they're all in one place. Maybe you like the numbers better than just looking at the line plot. But I think the line plot makes it easier to just see it. Use the data in the table provided to create a line plot and answer the questions. The table below describes the lengths of crayons in centimeters in Ms. Harrison's crayon box. So we're going to look at the length in centimeters and the number of crayons. So we have a four centimeter crayon, there's four of those, five centimeter crayons, seven of those, six centimeter crayons, nine of those, and seven and eight centimeter crayon is the longest, there's only one of those. So we need a, we're going to need a title, and we're going to need one, two, three, four, five spots to mark out five lengths in centimeters. And our title is going to be Crayons in Ms. Harrison's Crayon Box. got four, five, six, 
seven, eight, and this is length centimeters. There's four fours. One, two, three, four. Seven fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even with the other seven. Eight, nine. Three sevens. One, two, three. See how the threes are right next to each other like that in a row, and then the one eight. There's our line plot. How many crayons are in the box? Well, let's look at the numbers. We have some numbers right here. I can see a nine and a one. There's a ten. And a seven and a three. There's another ten, so that's twenty. Twenty plus the four that's left. Twenty-four crayons. And how wide are most of the crayons? Five or six centimeters long? Well, the longest ones are, and we could just make something up here almost, but um, the longest ones are eight. So when they're brand new, maybe they're eight, but it, crayons get shorter when you use them. So uh, we can say five and six. We can say that... Uh, most of the crayons are five and six because these ones, these are the crayons who have been have been used a lot, have probably been used a lot. So uh, we can say this is uh, not a box of new crayons because if it was a new box of crayons, they would all be the same. If no one had used them, they'd be all be brand new and they wouldn't have been shortened by being used. So let's just say that uh, the box of crayons is not new and if you wanted to add something we could say most of the Crayons have been used a lot.